Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is November 12th, and this is your aftermarket update. It's been a few days since we've put together one of these uh, market updates. Uh, we have been working diligently on a new program uh, that we will be rolling out over the weekend that we feel like will be uh, is will be quite beneficial to you, and it's going to change the way that we do things, some things here at the Oil Trading Group. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that today. We will be rolling this announcement out over the weekend. Uh, but what I do want to do today is talk to you about the OTG trade of the day, and, and uh, let's take a look at uh, the end of market recap, and then I'll let you watch uh, that OTG trade of the day in its entirety. All right, so first thing I want to do here is I want to show you the 240-hour chart. Now, this is a lot of lines, and there's a lot of stuff going on uh, on this chart, but what I want to do is I just kind of want to give you a little bit of perspective of what's been happening on this four hour chart. So if you go back here and we squeeze this in, right, you can see that over the course of uh, several weeks, we have gone through a real phase period of chop, right? It's really easy to see downward move, chop, downward move, chop, up, chop, you know, and we've just been chopping around in this very tight range. This has been a very challenging market. Uh, to trade over the past oh, two or three weeks. Having said that, the market is finally uh, in this idea that it wants to start trying to break out, right? And we had some of that occur yesterday. It was a holiday yesterday, but the market did, uh, for those of that were around trading, and it did provide some opportunities. And so what you're going to see here is, is a cluster of support resistance levels here on your four-hour chart that we'll be paying attention to and that we were paying attention to uh, today and the, those levels uh, begin to derive some of the levels here uh, that you see on this one minute chart. All right, so we're going to take this same chart, except we're going to move it down to the 15 minute. And I want to show you uh, one of the opportunities here today and why we ended up getting in where we did. So uh, if you were a guest in the room today, or a, uh, in the room today, not necessarily a guest, but if you were in the room watching, you heard me talk about these points of liquidity. These boxes here represent areas on the chart that the smart money players have left footprints. And so there's a whole discussion that goes on behind this, but you can see that in these areas here, right, where we have highlighted by these boxes, these are where smart money areas uh, have left footprints and that we thought is where the market would turn around. So we had this long push up. Uh, we rotated here till right around the inventory report. You'll notice we never closed a candle on the 15 minute chart outside of this zone. Even once we got to the inventory report, which was this candle right here on the 15 minute chart, we did not close outside of this range. So we identified these as the smart money uh, areas where we thought the smart money would be uh, waiting to reshort the market or they would be areas of interest for us. So what we did is we measured this swing, this swing high down to this swing low. And after the inventory report, we were talking about wanting to get short here at 79.80. And you can see that right here, the market made it up to the high of 86 and then flushed and we got down as low here as uh, 41.54. So 86 to 54 is 132 ticks on this swing right here. If you were in the room today, you heard us talk specifically about this level here. And in the recording where we do actually end up getting short, uh, you'll hear me talk uh, to one of the room members who actually did place this order up here. For me, it wasn't the place to be because of the inventory report. And so again, that was not a place, this was right at the inventory report, it was not a place that I wanted to get short and you could see almost immediately we shot down. Now, what we did do is once we broke through this area of what we consider to be an area where smart money was located on the shorts, we did end up getting short right around this, uh, right around this area in here. Um, in fact, we got short right up here around the top of this box around 32 is where we ended up getting short. <clears throat> so we were in this area short around 32. This is where the, we thought the smart money was taking uh, this move down. Uh, and where it would be coming from. And again, like I said, we'd like to have been up here, but we didn't. We did hit the sweet spot of our retracement level coupled with, again, this smart money area. So we ended up getting short there. Now, I want you to see 
on a on the daily chart here. Oops, let me grab this, swing this over to you. On your daily chart here, you do end up getting a move down to the 79% uh, percent retracement. So if you measure the low here from August 24th up to the high that we made on August 31st, and you'll notice again, we talked about this being uh, right up here at 57, right? This is 57. This is the high again that was made on October 15th. And again, yes, sorry, that was the high again on October 15th. And then it was this plunge up, and then we came down into the 79% retracement level, and that's about where the market stopped today. So again, what you'll see me do here is on the uh, OTG Trade of the Day video, you'll see me get short out of this level, uh, just above this level after this break up here to, to uh, after we made this long break up here to 86, we had this one pop back. That's a 70.5 retracement as well. Check this out. So if you look here, measure that swing to that swing. That is just about into the sweet spot there at 59. We got to 56, right? So that was almost into that sweet spot at 59. And again, the market tanks out of that. So again, we get short around 32 and it ends up being 110 ticks on the OTG trade of the day. So instead of talking about it some more, I'm gonna let you, uh, I'm gonna let you watch that trade in its entirety here, uh, this trade last. Uh, this trade will last about uh, 30 minutes. So again, if you stop here and you want to fast forward or just drag the little uh, video ruler all the way to the end, you'll see um, the end of the trade. And again, it was a hundred tick, hundred and ten tick trade. So eleven hundred dollars on this particular trade. So without further ado, here is the OTG trade of the day. 32, 33 short stop. We're going to take this target off at 22. Stop here is above is above it up here at 40 eight at the moment. Fire trucks, man, this sucks. I do think it's coming down. I'm going to add at 9. I'm going to add 1 at 09. Actually, 06. I'm going to add 1 at 06. Okay, there's your stop at auto break even. I'm going to add 1 at 06. We can break through 1817. Okay, I'm going to add one at 06. And then we got as low as 94. Then I'm going to add one at 93. You've got liquidity down there at 10. You've got liquidity down there at 10. I had the right idea short here. I've just got shaken out too prematurely we had the right idea but we'll see we'll see if we could stay short now stop is 32 stop is a break even <clears throat> Yeah, liquidity at 23 through 26. Yeah, and 20 is an area on your four-hour chart. Actually, it's 2012 and 98. These are all areas. I, we're going to end up back at 82, okay? It's going to end up back at 82. Let's see if we can get there without getting shaken out.
heavy liquidity at 16 and 15 here. Okay, then at more liquidity at 9 and 05. 31 is the stop. Make this uh, 05 is liquidity. Make this entry 04. Make the add 04. And I'll take three off down there at 82, and then we'll look to start the process of adding again. If we can make it through 82. There's 13, 12, 11. So like I said, we had the right idea. I just got shaken out there. There's nine. I told you we had a liquidity at five. Okay, there's six, five. We got liquidity at five and all the way down to O2. Sorry, all the way down to 4200. Zero, zero. Told you there's liquidity at 05. We're now through. There's 0302. Okay, the stop here is at break even at 22. Okay, there's a flush down to 98. Come on, get through it. 22 is the stop. Okay, you've got liquidity all the way down to 97. And then 80 all the way down even deeper to 88. We should come down and take out our deal there. Yeah, I just catching up with the gym. Stops should be all lined up in the same spot now. I'm just trying to catch up, playing catch up here. So you can pretty much know that most of the time, if that if you see that occurring, I'm not trying to do something different with the stops. I'm not staggering the stops. It's just I'm playing catch up. Taking three off at 82 if we can make it down there. And I'm going to add back at 68 and 58 with the final target of 34. Come on, get through this area here. Let's go. 01, 0, 0. You've got heavy liquidity here. Down in this area, right? Down at 95, at 90. You had some at 88, although that's been pulled off. The one at 95, the liquidity at 95 is the one that we need to fight through here. That's the liquidity that we need to fight through is the liquidity down there at 95. Come on, three, two, get through it. Thirteen minutes till the European session close. Seventeen is the stop now. Seventeen is the trail stop here. Come on, two, one. You've got some orders at ninety nine. You've got some there we go, ninety eight, ninety seven. Fight your way all the way through it. Ninety seven, ninety six. Liquidity at ninety three as well. Okay, let's not add the fourth one. I'm not going to add a fourth one. I'm just going to take, I've got three on. I'm going to take two off at 82. Okay, we're going to bring, I've got three on here. We're going to bring it down to 12. <clears throat> no, we're going to leave it at uh Leave it up there at 17. I got a nice thick band like we had earlier of orders at 90. There's a nice thick band of support at 90 right now. Uh, not much liquidity up above us here. Yeah. 
We need this to continue that push to the downside here. All the way down to 92 there. 01 has a thick, thick layer of orders now. Eight seven six. Bring this stop up at out of the way at twenty one. Twenty one is the stop. I think we're gonna make it to eighty two. I just do not want to get shaken out before we do. You've got a heavy band up there at twenty. Okay, that band of orders at oh one are now gone as well. We should make it to 82 here. That's the expectation level. There's 03, 02, 01, 00. I'll take two off at 82, and then we'll look to keep pushing it down deeper, potentially to 4134 as the final target down there. I'll leave one on, and we'll begin that process of adding again 68 and 58. Okay, we got to get through 91 and then 90. Heavy liquidity at 91, then 90. Trying to, and you can see how as we are selling into it, you can see how as we are selling into the liquidity here, what's happening as we bounce, right? As we are selling into the liquidity down here, we're beginning that bounce up. Uh, so let's see what happens here now. 92, 91 is the area here 92 close of the european session here in let's see nine minutes We need to get below and close below 98. Come on, 97, 96. Go take out my target down there at 82. I believe that's going to happen. There's 93, 92. Got to get through 91, then 90 again. Let's see if I can do this here. You've got this liquidity down here at 90 and then 85 and then 80, right? These are all areas of liquidity here. If we can make our way through that, we'll be in good shape. 89, come on, 88, 87, 86, 85. Come on. All right, let's bring the trail stop here to 12. Jeez, do not, uh, we bounced off all that liquidity down there right at the top of the box. Come on, 95, 94, let's go. Push through it here, down to 82 is what we're looking for here. And my stop is back up at the 20 area. 21 is the stop. 21 is the stop. I believe we're going to make it to 82. It's just very hot right now. It's just very hot. Fifty-two, forty-one, seventy-seven. All right, so we're just being patient here. I think we'll come down into that 82 level. That's the expectation still. You've got a tremendous number of orders, though, You've got huge liquidity at 89, 88, 85, and 84. So I want to see if we can test that level. If we cannot get through it the next time around, if we can come back and test, then we'll see, right? You've got 
Six minutes till the European session closed. Six minutes. You've got huge orders at 95. We just went through them. That's good. Now 94, 93. And let's go test that 89. And then you've got some orders at 82. No takers at 93. There's 95, 94, 93. There's 91, 90. Come on. All the way through it. 93, 92. Come on, you've got heavy orders at 89. Heavy orders at 89. Heavy liquidity at 89. There's 87, 86. Okay, that's where we were thick earlier at 85, 86. I think we're going to make it through it. Two off at 82, 84. Come on, 83. Really? This is the same drill you did to me last time. And you jacked with me down there. Come on, 85, 84. Let's go ahead and bring the stop here to 02 now. 20 times 3 at 02. That may have been close enough. It's either going to go or it isn't. There's 85, 84. Come on, go 83, 82. I think it's going to hit that 82. 83, 82, and I filled. Okay, so I got one left on now. Sweet, guys. That was sweet. Right there, that's freaking sweet. All right, 68 and 58 are the ads with the final target at 34. That was sweet. That was 32 down to 82 is 50 ticks, right? 32 to 82 on two is 50 ticks. That was a 100 tick winner right there. Now we've got move. Now we're expecting a move. My stop now is at 8, is at 02. My stop is now 02, so now we can kick back. One way, no matter how it goes today, we're up nice, right? Doesn't matter how it goes today at this point. If it comes up and takes me out up there at 02, or we continue on, which I believe we will, we're up nice, right? And imagine if we could have been in up at the top where we thought we were going to be in at when we talked about uh, the uh, 79 before the number. Thanks, Nashville. Imagine what happens then, right? Imagine what we're talking about then from up there at 79. So if you take a look here, this is what I was talking about earlier. We had an area, I marked out these boxes and we said this was going to be the prime real estate for the short because of this footprint on a two, on, this is your 15 minute. This is a footprint, a liquidity footprint. And I'm going to teach you what that means of a big money player inside of your retracement sweet spot, right? And that was the short that we were looking for. Now, we didn't take it. Mario did. But when it lines up with confirmation, that's kind of what you get. All right. So now 68 and 58 on the ads. 34 is your final target. 68 and 58 on the ads. 34 is your final target. Thirty-four is your final target. Sixty-eight is the ad. Sixty-eight is the next ad. So now forty-two oh three. And let's see, 35 and 45. And your target is 41.34. Well, that'd be 42 on three. We'd be, uh, we'd be, we'd be loving life. Let's just put it that way.
Make that 57 versus 58 on the ad. Six and one half dozen the other, I suppose. 68 is the first ad, though, and then 57. Okay, look at the liquidity underneath you here, right? Big time orders underneath you. Make that ad 67. Okay, we're going to get below all of this liquidity. See how thick the liquidity is stacking up here on this area? See how thick all of this, this patch is down here? That's where we were earlier today. Let's go ahead and bring this stop to 93 now. We'll protect 10 ticks. Okay. Right, because of all this heat down here. Wow, you're just making it through right now. Okay, 68 is the ad. 68 is the ad. Market is just bouncing off of that liquidity there. Market's bouncing off that liquidity. 93 is the stop here. Now you've got heavy liquidity again at 78. So again, this is just all this simply is telling us is this is the battle zone. If we end up breaking the low, it, we should be in good shape. If we end up breaking that low, we should be in good shape. Let's do this. Since we are playing with house money, let's bring this stop back to the break even plus one at 02. And let's see if we can't ride the ride the rails here. Let's see if we can't end up riding the rails here. Yeah, that's exactly right, Mark. Kareem, are you still in here? Here's your 161.8% range extension from yesterday. And the range low down there as well, our projected range low, and the daily S2 all holding. All right, I like the fact that it's calmed here a little bit underneath our 82 level. I like the fact that we've calmed somewhat underneath our 82. I have a time frame for a move at 1034. That probability of that move is to the short side. So we are in good shape regardless of what happens here today with this remaining lot. We are in good shape. Ninety, which was res which was support, is now resistance. Right, we'll see if ninety holds. Remember, ninety was support on the way down, is now acting as resistance from an order book perspective. Sixty-eight is the ad spot. Again, my expectation level is for a failure here, okay, down to 34. Huge liquidity at 72 to 68. 
big, big stacks of orders underneath you here. 41.85 is the daily retracement level, right? All right, so again, just being patient. All right, so we're settling in around this 82. This is actually a really nice place to be, guys. This is really a nice, nice place to be right here, and here's why. We go up to our 02. It was a 100-plus tick trade. We come down to where I think we're going to get to. It's 220 tick trade, right? So... We're in this perfect spot here right now of just being able to wait it out. And I'll be right back. You see where everything is. So let me show you the book. Let me show you the, the, the book here. Okay. Liquidity at 80, 75, 72, all the way down to 68. So it may be tough to get through those levels, but again, we're in that perfect position here where we are up handsomely after that trade. We had the right idea getting short and just because it was so volatile, it had to stop me out a couple of times, of course. But we got done what we needed to get done. So now it's just a matter here of working our way through it. Seeing if we can get to where we want to get to here. And like I said, if it comes back and takes me out up there, we, we may spend time now rotational around 82. That is, a, that is a strong possibility. That is a strong possibility. You know, if we can start getting some more closes below 82. You had some liquidity at 90 and now some at 95. So again, that 90 behaving as resistance now. It just means that's where volume is. It's just another word for volume. Just another way to say volume, basically. Contracts, orders, paper, you know, 
We just this just another name. Yeah, no worries. Eighty, you have orders stacking up underneath you at eighty. <clears throat> so watch for that level. We're right here on top of it. We'll see if we can make our way through eighty. And look at the iceberg coming in at eighty one. Okay, you see where everything is? I'll be right back. Top of the hour in 19 minutes. All right, there's a 102, and I'm out, and I'm done. All right, so you could see that the uh, market uh, wasn't quite ready to finish that move uh, deeper, that we uh, we were looking for that move all the way down, potentially into the 4130 area of our chart, but obviously the market came back up and took us out for what was still a very handsome uh, trade here today. So as always, I want to say thank you for spending time watching the videos here at the Oil Trading Group. And until tomorrow, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.